Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. And today, again, I am super excited to share with you guys an amazing product uh, that was sent to me actually today. And I'm just so impressed with the product, I wanted to bust out real quick and do a quick video on it. And this is another men's grooming product. And this is something that I've looked into purchasing. Um, you know, we're bombarded with ads nowadays. And sometimes, you know, there's a lot of ads and a lot of different products that will pop up on Instagram, Facebook, and a bunch of other places like YouTube, like guys like me telling you guys about a cool product. And sometimes, you know, we, unless you have somebody that you trust, that you've watched over the years, that you've taken their advice and maybe tried some of the products they recommend, and that you know if they recommend something it's going to be good, it's going to be a good value, it's hard to really know what you're buying. You know, there's tons of companies out there, but again, bombarding us with products that the advertising is great, the ads, the pictures, they look fantastic, but how does it work in the real world? You know, how does it work by an average guy like myself uh, using this stuff? And, you know, I mean, what kind of experience am I getting? And you know the old saying, and I've said it many times, you have one bad experience, you'll tell everybody. You have a good experience, you only tell a few people. So a lot of times products like this may not reach the masses. Now, this is a hair grooming product. So without uh, rambling on too much, because you guys know, I love to talk. <clears throat> um, you know, I want to show you the device first. So this is it right here. And this is a, it looks like very old school, right? But this is you, what you'd consider a traditional uh, T-blade clipper. Now, guys, I getting to men's grooming. I'm a guy who clips, right? I mean, I'm not one for body hair. Uh, you know, and I've been, as I've got older, it's kind of tamed down, but I've been a pretty hairy dude. Now, gentlemen, we all wish we had more on top. And I've done some videos showcasing, uh, and again, when I do a video like this, I'm not trying to come across as like the guy with the best hair. I have the hair that I have, the hair that I was born with. Is it the best hair on earth? Absolutely not. There's guys with amazing heads of hair, but I do what I can to maximize uh, my self-esteem, to maximize how I look. So when I walk out of the house, I feel good about myself. And ultimately, that's why we do things. You, and, and I encourage every single person who watches my videos, if you always take, get one thing from my videos, uh, in addition to the product I'm sharing you, is to always do things that are gonna make you feel better about yourself. Because you know, depression is a huge problem uh, in the world. And, and my heart goes out to people who deal with it and suffer with it. And I feel like, and I know there's lots of clinical reasons on why people deal with that, but anything you can do to put a smile on your face, uh, anything you could do to make yourself feel better about yourself, I think is a bonus. And one thing that makes me feel really good is having nice, fresh, you know, cut up hair, right? Um, it, again, it, am I giving you guys that telling you guys again that I have the best hair in the world? Am I telling you guys what you need to do? No, I always tell you guys what works for me, and this is a great product that works for me. Now, I was so excited uh, to use this. I wasn't planning on giving myself a haircut, and guys, uh, after this whole COVID thing, I <clears throat> nothing feels better. And I can remember even back uh, when I was younger and I had more of like a Caesar cut, uh, the different hairstyles that I've had over the years, Nothing feels better than getting a fresh cut, right? Well, let's face it, getting a haircut is pretty expensive nowadays. I mean, by the time you're done with a tip, and granted, I love tipping. Uh, my hairdresser is awesome. I've been going to her for over, over 10, 15 years. Um, she is consistent. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves with businesses and people is consistency, lack of consistency. And when I find somebody who can who is consistent, um, like I, I hold on for dear life. And you know, and, and she's been every time I go to her, I don't ever have to tell her what I want. She just knows. She just does it, and it's perfect every time. Perfect for me. Remember, not perfect, but perfect for me, for my liking. And so um, after this whole COVID thing, you know, hit, um, you know, barbershops were closed, hairstyles were closed, and you know. I honestly just got in the habit of cutting my hair. And you know, my hair is not, my haircut is not really all that complicated. There is benefits to going uh, to a professional hairdresser. She does it perfect every time. And just to give you guys a little bit of an example, what I do, um, what I would normally do is I, over the years, I decided to go more of a high and tight cut. Um, this is a comb over, of course. And for guys with, you know, a hair that's uh, thin uh, or thinner, uh, my hair hasn't, luckily, hasn't gotten any thinner. Uh, over the last, I'd say, six years. Um, you know, it is what it is for a guy my age. But um, one thing that helps to, I know we're getting into hair loss here, but uh, I just want to tell you, one thing that helps to, I think, to minimize uh, the the illusion, or, or to give more of an illusion that you have more, is to have less around the edges. So for me, personally, when I go high and tight, 
Um, not only does it thin out my face a little bit, I feel clean cut. Um, and you know, everybody's hair is different. Some people can wear different hairstyles. Uh, my hair is extremely fine. It's extremely like light. And you know, as I've got older, it's gotten a little more thinner than it was when I was in my, my teens, right? Uh, luckily, that, luckily, I still have hair, and luckily, um, you know, I'm able to kind of do what I can do with it. And, I, and again, I don't want to get involved in every, I've done videos on, on what I find helps me uh, for if you're a guy with my type of hair. Again, if my hair was a much thicker hair strand, um, it wouldn't even be an issue. Like if you had that thick Italian hair, um, and a lot of other cultures have much thicker hair. Uh, my hair is fine, fine, fine. I mean, without product, it like, <laughs> it like blows. Like it just, it has a mind of its own. And I've always dealt with, honestly, pain in the ass hair. Uh, so I'm just happy I can get it to where I walk out of the house, I'm happy, right? So again, getting back to the whole COVID thing, I started clipping my own hair. And you know, and I do clip my arms, I clip my arms, my chest. Um, I just, I get, I've been doing it so long that I get really itchy if I don't do it. Uh, and again, getting back to hair, nothing feels better than a nice, fresh, high and tight haircut, uh, at least for me. And your hair may be different, you, you may wear your hair different. Um, I am, with my hairstyle, mainly the only thing that gets done is it gets clipped and it gets faded. Now, what I would used to, I normally used to do, is I would get it high, I used to get this um, kind of faded. And I'm able to now, with a little practice, I'm able to fade it myself. Um, it's a little tricky cutting your own hair, but you know, when everything closed down, I'm not gonna not have my hair high and tight, right? I'm not gonna walk out of the house, you know, getting looking like I need a haircut. Uh, it's just my personal, it's just my personality. So I started use, I had a clipper, not this one, and I started just kind of practicing. And the only thing I, I when I would go to my hairdresser, she would go uh, zero guard all the way up into a one. Shave in the shaved part, uh, the line, of course. Uh, sometimes I'll, you know, in the past, I, that does grow in really quick until now. Um, and then, of course, it would get faded um, all the way from here or from here right around and then kind of blend it into slightly longer on this side um, and then down into a number one. Uh, so it is kind of tricky to fade hair properly to get a really good fade. My hairdresser always did a great job, but let's face it, three weeks, I'm back there, another 30 bucks. And when this whole COVID thing happened, it just wasn't an option. So I said, you know, my hair is not really, it's not all that complicated. What if I just tried it, you know, by watching movies like Inglorious Bastards, Brad Pitt, and a lot of the guys who've had um, kind of the shave parts. Um, I said, let me just try it myself. So what I've done is I basically just pull the hair up, and I basically just go right around, kind of like a bowl cut, honestly. And you know, is it as nice as when my hairdresser did it? No, she does a much better job, obviously, but um, it's pretty close. I'm pretty happy with my results, right? And that's ultimately comes down to is, are you gonna be happy with your results? So a tool to have in your arsenal is a hair clipper, of course, but this is a game changer. And this was said to me, again, today, and I saw one of these, uh, something like it, advertised on Instagram, and I was like, ooh, I need to get one of those. It was about 50 bucks. I was like, yeah, I'll just wait, mine's working. But uh, my guy reached out to me the other day, and he said, hey, we got a hair clipper. Do you want to review it? And I am super thankful. Uh, this is much easier to use than my other hair clipper, which is fantastic. It's a hair clipper that's been advertised uh, by Alpha Male on a few on his channel uh, just for you know hair body. I think he goes to a hairdresser. Great hair, but uh, for body clipping. Uh, but I've been using that for years. I forget the brand name. I've done a video on it. Just check my playlist. I'll find it. Put a link in the description so you have one of each. But this is fantastic. Um, this is a basically no guard. It does come with guards, but you can get almost down to shave skin. Uh, this is as close as you're going to get, to the best of my knowledge, uh, with an electric clipper. And one thing you have to be careful with clippers uh, is that you can irritate the skin. You can actually uh, cut yourself a little bit. Uh, this gets really close. This is a great design. This is called the T-Blade. And so what's great about this as compared to other clippers is you can see the shape of the blade. It's in the shape of a T. And so this blade cuts right to the edge of the clipper. What's great about that is if you like to have a little stubble or you like to kind of really tighten up your lines, um, you can do this with this. With other hair clippers, they just don't get that close to the edge. So you're really trying to, if you want to kind of uh, maintain kind of your beard. Um, for, for me, guys, you know, like my beard, um, it's not super patchy, but there's a few areas where it doesn't grow in super thick. Again, you know, everybody's hair, everybody's beard is different. My beard, when I grow one, you have to really let a beard grow, but I never have the patience really 
let it grow. And generally, I just like to have a little bit of stubble. So this works perfectly. Um, it does, again, come with a couple different uh, guards. Uh, you get, first off, the the cleaning brush, which what I like about this is you can actually run it under the faucet. Uh, so what I did this morning when I gave it a try, uh, when I'm done, just put it right, not the whole thing, just the head under the faucet, and then just kind of dry it off and it, it cleaned up really easily. There's nothing really for the hair to get trapped with. Other razors or other clippers, uh, there is a kind of a, a mechanism which is not really exposed. With this, the whole thing's exposed. And I'll show you when I turn it on here, you can see, hopefully you can see by the video, uh, that middle piece spins and there's kind of like a, um, a metal uh, attachment on there which is uh, not centered and that's what basically spins, comes in contact with the blade and moves the blade back and forth. This does have a combination of stainless steel and ceramic blade. Uh, nice thing about these, they don't require as much lubrication or any lubrication and they wear really well. Uh, this is awesome guys. Um, this is the first time I've been able to shave my own part and so this really allows you to get really close detail, which you can't do with a regular clipper. And hopefully you can see I've shaved that part in, right where the shaved hair meets the rest of my hair, and really easy. I just went right in the mirror. Um, it cuts perfectly, it's super sharp, it works so good, and it's really easy to really detail, you know, whether you want to get areas around your beard. Now today I did take it all the way down. I normally keep a little more, uh, a little more stubble, or more, normally like maybe a one. Uh, this went right down to skin. And what I did is I actually faded, the rest of my hair was about a one because it grew in a little bit. It was about a half and it went to a one. And what I did just to practice, I went ahead and went no guard, uh, skin fade, all the way around the back, right up. And then once I got to the areas where it was a number one, what I do, and you kind of start to learn the technique, is you just start to, to shave and pull away like this. And what you're doing is basically just fading that no guard up to the half or the one. Um, again, not a hairdresser. Um, I've been doing this now for maybe about six months, seven months, and I've gotten pretty good at it. And honestly, the results that I get, I'm pretty happy where I probably won't go back to a hairdresser consistently like I was doing every three weeks. That's unfortunate for my hairdresser, but I'm gonna be saving a lot of money doing that. And the nice thing about it, it's the convenience factor. I can just, in the morning, whatever I feel like, if I feel like I want to give myself a haircut, I can do it and I'm done in under 10 minutes. So super easy to maintain hairstyle for me. I'm happy with it. I really enjoy it. And this is a game changer. Um, if you don't have a hairstyle where you do a lot of fading or whatnot, again, my hair is a little easier because it's basically just an undercut with a shaved part. Um, very easy to do. It does not a lot of rocket science going on here. Uh, really straightforward. I'm happy with it. And ultimately, that's all that really matters. Um, I could probably definitely give my buddy a haircut if I want. Wanted to. I've been practicing enough with this uh, and, and doing it on yourself is a little tricky holding the mirror but I'm happy with the results and ultimately again that's all that really matters. So let's get back to the device. Now that I've sold you on how great this is, um, this is the obviously the razor. So again, we have that T-blade, which is suspended over the motor itself. Um, I don't know if this has a water resistance. They say that you can rinse the, um, the blade. I wouldn't submerge it or do anything like that. Always do this at your own discretion. Um, I just give it a quick hose and it's good to go. It's pretty quiet. Uh, there's only one speed on this where some other clippers actually have multiple speeds. I never really understood why you would have different speeds. Um, this is a perfect speed for clipping uh, and for shaving a beard. This cuts as close as to what you see on some of those infomercials where you have like, I forget, there's a couple companies that make them. They're like basically hair clippers and you can find them. Uh, I have one, I forget the name of it, like uh, No Touch or Lady Touch, whatever it is. They're all the same principle where it's a clipper but it gets really close to the skin. And they're, they're advertising these things for like 40, 50 bucks. I can tell you that the quality of those things is nowhere near the quality you're gonna get with this. Uh, this is fantastic, it's very well made. Uh, you have a knurled body housing which in incorporates, I guess, the motor and of course the battery. Uh, push button on or off, pretty straightforward on the bottom. Press that, turn it on, it's blue, uh, sim showing you that it's it's got a charge and it's ready to go. When it does lose charge, it'll be red. And I believe when you're charging, it'll be red as well. Another awesome thing about this, three available colors. A little disappointed, you guys know I'm a gold guy. Um, I requested the gold, they sent me the black and gold, which is a little fitting today with my new Invicta Black Spinel. If you haven't checked out my video on that, check that out. Um, let me just log back into my computer because I just got logged off and I have a little bit of information for you. Um, all right, so, uh, 
What do we got here? All right, so um, they say it's an R angle blade, and the R angle shape uh, design is safe. Uh, R, sorry, there's a little bit of a language barrier here when it comes to some of these Amazon listings. R shaped blade. It says a R shaped sharp angle design, safe, sharp, wear resistant, uh, provides a smooth hair cutting experience. And you guys know I never really read all the stuff on these listings. I encourage you just to click the link and check out the listing for more information. Um, only thing I have to say about it, uh, again, it's very straightforward, very simple. Only negative thing I have to say about it is that on the listing, and I hope I'm going to let them know to correct that because I'm a big pet peeve, or, you know, like it's a big pet peeve of mine to have a misinformation. Um, the battery itself on this says uh, says 1,000 milliamps. On the website on Amazon, they claim it's a 1,200 milliamp. So that is a difference. So uh, these come with the sticker stating 1,000. So good to know. Is that really going to affect your runtime all that much? Not really. Uh, but you will get a roughly about two and a, I'd say about one and a half to two hours of runtime out of this. Um, my other hair clipper, same style battery, same size battery, and I mean I charge it maybe once a week depending on how much I use it. It's fantastic. This is no exception to that. Again, you get a couple different things. You get the clipper, uh, you get the cleaning brush, which you know will help get a little bit of the hair that might get stuck in these kind of uh, screws and difficult areas to clean. And you get four guards on this here. And so the guards, um, straightforward if you've never seen a hair clipper, um, not, I would say, super you know, super thick. Uh, I know I've broken a guard on other clippers before, uh, but they seem okay. Um, you know, it's what you'd expect from any hair clipper. I'm not saying maybe professional grade might be better, uh, but I mean, for the average do-it-yourselfer, the price on this, killer, guys. Uh, price on this, let me just double check, make sure they haven't changed anything in the last 10 minutes. Uh, $44.99 with Prime shipped to your door. It gets a four-star rating on Amazon. Honestly, to me, I would give this a five. So again, I always say anytime you get a four-star rating and above, you're getting a really good product. Uh, that's out of 173 reviews. I didn't read all the reviews, but um, I and or did I really see any kind of real negative things about them. I will go back and take a look. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help. But it is available in that cool kind of Invicta Iridium rainbow color. Uh, it was available in the all gold, which is what I wanted, and of course the black. But it's still nice with the black and gold. It's still a great looking, very masculine, very manly device. Um, obviously, I think black is probably the most popular. Um, as far as the guards, they just basically clip on. What I like about this, they're very easy to clip on and off. You can see that the guard is on and you just pop it off. Um, I know that sounds like something that's like, oh, well, that's kind of easy. What's the big deal? I have other clippers where it's not easy to get them on and off, and that's why I broke one. Uh, so this is super easy. As far as the size on the guards, um, as far as the, the measurement of what you're going to get with the clip, uh, three millimeter, 1.5 millimeter, six millimeter, and seven. So I use, again, no guard. Uh, right up to a, on this case, if I want to fade, I'll go one and a half. Um, what I probably will do is just basically use the no guard and just kind of fade it myself with no guard into what I would consider maybe a half. Once you're going between no guard and half, there's not a huge difference, but you will get more of a skin fade with this. Um, a traditional skin fade actually takes it right down to the skin. So this will be your second step. Again, I'm not a hairdresser, but once you get, let's say we were to get around the neck and sideburns, if you're going to a skin, they would actually use a razor at that point, uh, usually an electric razor, to kind of fade into the skin where it goes obviously skin fade. It fades directly into smooth skin. This is awfully close. So you can see I have done, this is what you'll get with no guard. I mean, that's pretty close to skin. This is, uh, I tapered the beard out to this way uh, towards my chin. So this is more closer to a one, and this is going to be closer to like no guard. Um, technically, or I should say skin fade, which I, I know the hairdressers. I'm not a hairdresser. A hairdresser going to come after me and be like, you said it wrong. I'm just giving you guys my own interpretation. Uh, skin fades generally go right down to the skin. This is not technically skin fade, but it's awfully close. It gets short enough where um, this is what you would expect to probably get out of like a 5 o'clock shadow if you shave in the morning. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, and the nice thing about it, if you have sensitive skin, uh, you can just use this as a razor if you wanted. A lot of guys, uh, if you use just a standard razor, will get bumps and they'll get real irritations if you have very sensitive skin. This is going to take it down where you're not all the way down, but you look like you're clean shaved. So um, it's a great device. You can use this everywhere. Uh, for us Invicta lovers, 
uh, on the arms, get rid of the hair, if that's your cup of tea, it is for me. Hair pinches in the, all these watches, so it's really uncomfortable. Um, I shaved that right off. So, uh, great device, fantastic price, uh, $45 shipped to your door. You really can't go wrong. A little more about it, I already mentioned the, uh, the blades, already mentioned the cleaning product, yet you don't get the USB adapter, but you do get a very nice USB cable. It's sort of wrapped in kind of like a braided, um, I'd say like cotton or nylon or some sort uh, to give it a little more protection. I saved this kind of for last because it's, I know it's not a huge deal, but it is to me. Uh, USB-C connection. A lot of razors out there, a lot of these products have different connections. And let's face it, when you lose the, if, if you lose the wire, can't find it, then you have to try to find one, right? Um, this, a lot of the wires are proprietary to the razor within reason. USB-C is pretty common. I'm so glad they did USB-C and not my mini uh, USB micro or micro USB because those things in time, it's, it's like the old joke. Whenever you're trying to put USB you know, socket in or you're trying to plug something in, it's always like the third time, right? It's like you try to get it right the first time and it always takes me three times. Same thing with micro USB. Uh, my mom has a tablet. She just damaged it because it's hard to see for, you know, you really, I mean, especially if you have bad eyes, she does. Um, you, this is great. It goes in either way. It's no brainer and I like that. So I'm glad they did USB-C on this. Overall, I think this device is just a great, great item. Uh, and this, the company, um, which I didn't mention till now, is VGR. And there's lots of companies selling this. I can't speak on those other brands whether they're the same or different, but from what I can tell, the price on this is competitive. And guys, you're getting the Fat Cat Collection seal of endorsement on this. Um, it's fantastic. It's definitely something that I will continue to use. And I've been hoping for one of these for a while, and I'm really glad that my contact reached out and was able to send me one. So check it out, guys. Um, also, super lightweight, very easy to manage. Uh, I know that it may seem like, oh, well, clippers are pretty small anyway, but compared to a standard clipper, um, it's clippers, when you're trying to cut your own hair and trying to really kind of detail things like shave lines, um, it's harder to hold something larger, right? This you hold like a pencil and you can, with that T-blade, you can really get those really kind of fine details. If your guy likes to really kind of thin out his beard, maybe do kind of a, not necessarily a design, that's not really my style, but um, nothing wrong with it. But, you know, if you want to kind of thin it out and get rid of some of these scragglies you might get where it doesn't grow in super thick, you can just clean up your beard, you clean up your hairline, uh, everything. So it's a fantastic product. Definitely pick one up. Link is in the description as always. Um, if you haven't tried cutting your own hair, um, you know, I don't know, everybody's, everybody's uh, uh, I guess, location as country right now is a little different with the, with the whole COVID virus going on, um, you know. Maybe, you, maybe you're still comfortable going to your hairdresser. I'm not comfortable going around anybody. So uh, other than my family, we're really locked down, laying low. And, you know, for us personally, you know, it's not really, we're pretty private people anyway. So I don't really have a huge circle of friends. I like to keep it that way. I have a few, the people in my circle are extremely tight-knit, very close, and that's kind of how I like to roll. Uh, so for my lifestyle, it hasn't really uh, changed too much. Um, you know, I don't really go out and frequent you know, bars or restaurants. I do miss going out and having a nice meal with the folks, but uh, hopefully maybe something will change in not too distant future. Either way, guys, I appreciate you guys taking the time to sit in and check out these awesome products. This is a game changer for me. Um, enjoy, guys. Anyway, if you have any questions, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I'm always here to help you guys. My link is in the description. If you use that, I do appreciate it. And as always, guys, have a wonderful week. Till the weekend, take care.